Hello. A few days ago, I stumbled upon a uh, promotion offer from uh, a company called Overloud uh, that I haven't heard of before, maybe since I'm usually not looking around for new plugins. But they had a, an offer for uh, their 550 EQ uh, to download for free, free license. I don't know if it was 1000 licenses that I gave away or if it was just for the um, limited time. But I managed to get one license for free and um, I thought I could make a review of it and uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting I also threw in uh, the Universal Audio 550 EQ and the Waves 550 EQ to compare a little bit. The Overloud 550 EQ has a couple of aces in the sleeves doing things in a bit different way than both Universal Audio and Waves. We're gonna have a look at it and uh, see what I think about it. All right so here we have all three of them and uh, this is this is the one from Overloud this is the one from Universal Audio and this is one from Waves. Both the Universal Audio and the Waves one uh, is built like the classic ones. We have a three band EQ. The gain is on the outer part of the knob and uh, the frequency choice is in the inner part of the knob. While on the overload, four bands and it's actually the mid bands are the same. We just had, have an additional mid band, which is pretty cool. I can think of a lot of times where I would want to have an extra mid band to kind of shape the sound in a way I want. And also another cool thing with the overload one is that you can uh, turn on and off each band separately and you have an input and output gain. On the universal audio and the uh, waves one, you only have the output gain. Uh, of course you can like load it differently with a gain plugin before it or something like that. Everything else is pretty similar. I mean you have the the choice on the lower and upper band to switch between uh, bell and shelving. On the overload when it's activated it's a shelf and when it's not activated it's a bell. Uh, it's the same on the universal audio one. Uh, you can switch it here and on a waves one you can see uh, with a little light there, which one it is. You also have the filter one, uh, it's a band pass filter, so you get both low cut and high cut on everything. This one is here. Overload have, have chosen to take their version of the 550 EQ a bit further. As they say in the sales pitch, it's beyond the original hardware. And I can kind of go through what we have in this EQ that we don't have at all in the other two versions. As I already stated, we have four bands instead of three. Uh, it's an extra mid band. You can turn on and off each band individually, and you also have a cue on each band, so you can solo each band and listen to it. You can show you what that's like. That can be pretty cool and useful in uh, some occasions. I mean, even if you just want to like throw a quick telephone effect or something on it, you can just uh, cue the mid band. And right now you just saw another thing that is very unique with this one it is you have the standard pre choices on, uh, on frequencies. Um, if we take the high frequencies, for example, we have 5, 5K, 7K, 10K, 12.5K and 15, just as we have on the Universal Audio and the Wave Zone. We have 5, 7, 10, 12.5 and 15. 5, 7, 10, 12.5, 15. But on the Overload one, you are not limited to those pre-choices. You basically have a sweepable choice of uh, frequencies uh, on, each, on each band. But you still have like a dent here if you sweep really slow there you can see it's getting stuck to so it's easy to put it in the pre-choices here we don't have that function on the gain i would like to have that there too because the gain is also sweepable which is not on the others you have like two four six nine twelve choices uh, here on the overload it's sweepable uh, but i would like it if it sticks to the pre-choices like it does on the on frequencies that would be pretty cool and I have already tried them out a little bit here before and to be honest I think all of them sounds really good. I'm gonna let you listen to it a little bit and then 
after I'm gonna tell you my thoughts about it. I prepared a couple of buses here with the different, I have uh, the one, nothing is obviously nothing on it. Uh, UAD 550A, Waves 550A, Overload, Overloud 550. You can listen to this piece of music, uh, which is Call It Garbo, by the way. You should check him out. It's a really cool artist uh, with really good songs. Link in the description. I'm having all EQs set to zero here, so we're just gonna switch between them and see if they have any uh, sound print on them without activating the gain uh, on any of the EQ bands. There's just some small minor differences. Um, I feel like the Universal Audio one is maybe a little bit brighter than the other ones, uh, just without moving any of the gain knobs. Um, and maybe the Overload one is a bit more like pushed, uh, like a little bit compressed sounding, but I'm not sure. I think maybe we can compare the ones with the um, with the plugins on it, with the with the track without plugins. Uh, do a phase shift and see what's different if they null out or if there's things going on. Okay, so let's phase shift this one so it's uh, 180 degrees out of phase with the with the other three tracks with the plugins on it. That's, that's actually really interesting. Um, as I said, there seems like the Universal Audio one has a little bit uh, top end uh, like sheen on going on. The Waves one is probably the one closest, the least coloration going on when everything is set to zero. The Overload one was a bit weird. It sounds like it's distorting. I'm wondering because it has a little light here that sets harmonics, so it's probably doing some distortion stuff uh, that the other ones are not doing because I'm not hearing any of that artifacts going on in the other two. Seems like this one has some different uh, flavor going on. So the next test I'm thinking about doing is just uh, set some nice <laughs> EQ on this uh, track. I start with the Overloud one, um, dial in something I think sounds nice, uh, and then I just put other twos in the exact same values, and then we can switch between them and see if we feel like there's any difference. I'm trying to keep uh, to the pre-chosen frequencies here, even though I know I can sweep them, uh, just so I can get the exact same values on the other two. Just let them come on in And I can reach in my 
solitude Curse my silent ringtone And I'll check the status in my mail Sometimes that's my day I wish for a heart and brain To ruin their brain I feel like we have some more clarity there. Um, maybe I wouldn't go that far with the 10k um, in a proper situation but now I just I want to see what it does so we, we'll go with that now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna set up the two other EQs in the same way. Uh, we have 10k okay this is things I think is weird. Uh, the frequencies on the universal audio one you can choose them by just clicking them uh, which is nice, but you can't do that with a volume and you cannot turn the knob either. So it's, yeah, like it usually is in plugins. You have a knob, but you, you have to move the mouse up and down anyways, which is a bit weird, I think. But yeah, that's what we're getting used to, right? Uh, well, we have more. So what do we have here? 10 plus 6. Yeah, here. On the waves one, you can click. Click them. That's pretty good. Over loud one, you have to... Yeah. Move the mouse up and down. Okay, let's do this. Let's listen to the different versions. Let us sit and sink itself we flush out from the bottom shelf and thoughts that I kept at bay. Now I just let them come on in and I can rage in my solitude. My silent ringtone and I'll check the status in my mail. Sometimes that's my day. I wish for. Yes, I pretty much have the same feeling here as I had with uh, no gain on anything. Universal Audio one seems just a little, little, little bit brighter. And uh, over loud one is a bit compressed and pushed. So usually I don't want to drive stuff that much uh, in, a, in an EQ. I'm not sure how you like it, but um, it could be, could be cool. I mean, you could use this without the EQ and just drive the input and take down the output. You get some kind of a drive compressor, I guess. Could be useful. Uh, I really, really like the, the different choices you have here compared to the other ones that you can turn on the bands separately, that you have an extra mid-band. Not really a fan of the distortion. The Universal Audio one and the Waves one are pretty similar. Uh, Universal Audio one is a bit brighter, but they have all the same features. I have one more thing to complain about with Overloud. I just noticed before when I was trying them out. When I'm using automation in, uh, in Cubase, I can show you here. If I do it on the Universal Audio one, uh, I can take the frequency here for, for example. And you can see here that the frequency is set to 10 kilohertz. That's actually showing in the automation lane here. But if we do the same on the overload, high frequency, it sets to 50. It's like an, on a scale from 0 to 1. Uh, and when where 10 here is in the middle, so it's 50. Uh, and you can see if I turn it down to 7, it's 0 0.25. Um, and I think that's a bit confusing when you do automations. If they do an update on this plugin in the future, that's something I would like to have done in a better way. Because uh, it's much easier when you do automation if what you see here is actually what's going on in the plugin. Both the Universal Audio one and the Waves one are doing this in a proper way. You can see the, yeah, 
10 kilohertz instead of 0 0.5. So that's great. Not usually doing plugin reviews, but today I just felt like doing one. So I hope you liked it. As usual, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments. Do you have any tips on other API EQs that are out there in plugin forms? Please tell me and all the other people that are watching this video about it. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, in the plugin world and I really like what Overloud is trying to do here to take a classic thing and try to add to it make it a more versatile tool some things about it I really, really like some things about it not so much but I mean hey we have different stuff to choose from and it's all good thanks so much for watching and see you again next week bye bye cheers